Welcome back to All About Animals. This week we are going to learn all about some of the animals that you'll find in the Atlantic Ocean. Have you ever wondered why crabs don't ever share? Because they're shellfish! <laughs> Speaking of crabs, this right here is a New Jersey spider crab. It has 12 legs, which is where it gets its name, and it only reaches about four inches long from one leg to the other. The one you see here was maybe about an inch. Spider crabs make yummy dinner for predators like seagulls and even other crabs. They don't have a defense mechanism aside from camouflage. They cover themselves in algae so that they blend into the bottom of the ocean floor where you'll find them. These crabs have the ability to walk side to side like other crabs, but they prefer to go back and forth in a straight line, which in turn makes them move pretty slow. Spider crabs are not good hunters. They tend to feed on starfish or even other crabs that are already decaying. A crab that's not so picky about what he eats is the hermit crab. Hermit crabs will eat just about anything they can get their hands on, including minnows, worms, plankton, and algae. These guys aren't too picky. Like the common spider crab, hermit crabs have many predators, but instead of camouflaging, these guys dig deep holes into the sand to protect themselves from seagulls, humans, and other predators who want to eat them. The hermit crabs you'll find in the Atlantic Ocean are much different than the hermit crabs you'll find on the boardwalk in New Jersey. The ones you find on the boardwalk are mostly from Jamaica or Central America. These guys eat almost anything, but they prefer foods like lettuce and banana. They also don't live in water. They climb on trees, and that's how they find their protection. So aside from the hermit crab that lives in the water, and the common spider crab, you'll also find a horseshoe crab in the Atlantic Ocean. Horseshoe crabs are really amazing because these guys are 445 million years old. That's older than the dinosaurs. In that amount of time, they haven't changed. They have a hard shell on the top, a softer shell on the bottom, and a long spike-like tail that just helps them flip over when they get knocked over by a wave. Like hermit crabs, horseshoe crabs are not picky eaters. They eat just about anything, like small clams and worms and algae. But because they don't have teeth, they crush this food and pull it apart with their legs before passing it into their mouth. A horseshoe crab lives for about 20 years in the wild. But as you can see, it looks like some other animals are making a home for themselves on the horseshoe crab. You see little white circles, those are barnacles, and the big shells, those are snails. Sea snails are different from the snails you'll find on land because these guys actually have gills in order to breathe underwater. Snails and hermit crabs are similar because they both use a shell for protection. They'll change their shell as they grow out of it. Looks like this one was somebody's former home. You might be wondering why we saw so many sea snails on the back of the horseshoe crab, and that's because of how the sea snails eat. They bring water through the bottom of their big muscular foot, and they sift plankton and other particles and debris through the foot and right up into their mouth. Another animal that lives in the Atlantic and skims the water for debris in order to eat is the stingray. Stingrays basically eat anything that's left over at the bottom of the ocean. This is a picture of a stingray that we found on the beach in Ocean City, New Jersey over the summer. It's actually on the smaller side. Most stingrays reach about 16 to 17 feet long. This one was smaller, maybe about six feet, but still a whole foot taller than Miss Lara. We put the flip-flop there so you have something to compare the size to. Still pretty big, don't you think? In order to protect themselves from predators, stingrays are able to lay 
almost flat on the bottom of the ocean floor. Unfortunately, the guy we found on the beach in Ocean City looks like he may have gotten his tail eaten by a shark. Stingrays usually live between 15 and 25 years. And did you know they don't actually have any bones? They're made up of cartilage, which is similar to what you feel at the top outside edge of your ear. Isn't that cool? Thanks for joining me for another episode of All About Animals. Next week, we're going to learn about another animal that lives in the ocean. Can you guess what it is?